In this video, we'll be factoring trinomials by trial and error. To factor the trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c, we want to find two first terms whose product is ax squared, which is our first term in the trinomial. We want to find two last terms whose product is c, which is the last term in the trinomial. And then we want to use trial and error until the sum of the outside product and the inside product is bx, which is the middle term in our trinomial. And let's do a problem. We're asked to factor the trinomial 8x squared minus 10x minus 3. Now factoring uh, by trial and error is sometimes hard to explain your thought processes, but I'll try to think out loud and write down wherever I can um, my processes. The first thing that I'm noticing here is that 3 is a prime number. So that'll be a little bit easier to factor because my only choices are 1 times 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my 1 and my 3 in the last positions so that I can have something written down to start working with. So uh, to get my 3, I'll have a 1 times 3. Now notice that I'm not putting any signs in here. I know that uh, to get negative 3, one of these has to be negative and one positive. But I find it easier to just work with the numbers and then put my signs in later. Also, um, notice that because this is minus, that means that these numbers are going to be opposite in sign. And the difference of the numerical values, not the uh, positive and negative, but just the absolute values, the difference has to be a negative 10. So if I put in uh, my factors for 8, I can use a 1 and an 8, or an 8 and a 1. I can also do 2 and 4, or 4 and 2. Now, this part of the process I usually do in my head. I don't write these numbers down, but I wanted you to see what I was thinking. So what I'm going to do is look at the inner product and the outer product. And remember, I need a difference of 10. With the first choice, my inner product is 1 times 8. My outer product is 1 times 3. The difference is 8 minus 3, which is 5. So this choice does not work. Now let me try this one. Again, I've got a 1 here. I just haven't written it. But I have an inner product of 1 times 1. I have an outer product of 8 times 3. Now 8 times 3 is 24, so that's obviously going to be too big. Uh, because 24 subtract 1 is 23, so this one's not good. Right. For this one, I have an inner product of 4 and an outer product of 6. 4 subtract 6 is a difference of 2, so this one's not working either. And then for this one, I have an inner product of 1 times 2, which is 2. An outer product of 4 times 3, which is 12. 12 subtract 2 does give me 10. So I'm going to try these numbers, 4 and 2, in this order. So my 4, I'm going to write here as 4x. 
my 2 I'm going to write here as 2x. So now I have 12x as my outer product, 2x as my inner product. The difference there is 10. Now, when I add my inner and outer, I want the sum to be a negative number, which means I need my larger product, which is this 12x. I need that to be a negative product. And then this one will be a positive. Remember, we said that the signs would be different because this was a negative. So now, if we check this, uh, my inner product is a positive 2x. I'll write that really tiny here. And then my outer product is a negative 12x. And when I add these two together, I get my negative 10x. So my factored form for this trinomial is 4x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Let's try another one. And this one again, we're kind of lucky in that this is a prime number. You have a little bit more trial and error when you don't have a prime number as your lead coefficient or your final constant term. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 7 and 1. Again, I'm going to subtract the numbers to get 19. So for 6, I'm going to try 1 and 6, 6 and 1, 2 and 3, 3 and 2. Now for the 1 and 6 choice, my inner product is 42. That's probably going to be too big, but we can go ahead and look at it anyway. 42, and my outer product is 1, so the difference there is 41. So this doesn't work. Um, for the 6 and 1 choice, I have an inner product of 7 times 1, which is 7, an outer product of 6 times 1, which is 6. That difference is 1, so that one won't work either. So let me remind you, we're looking for a difference. Of inners and outers. It's 19. And we're just looking at the number, not the sign on that number. All right, let's try our 2 and 3. My inner product is 7 times 3, which is 21. My outer product is 2 times 1, which is 2. 21 subtract 2 is 19. So it looks like this is the choice that I'm going to need to use. So my 2 is going to go in this space. And I'll write it 2x, because I need an x squared there when I multiply. And my 3 is going to go here, 3x. So my inner product is 21x. My outer product is 2x. I need the sum of those two to be a positive 19. So my bigger product, the 21x, needs to be positive. And then this will be minus, because remember, they had to be different signs. So we can check and see. Let me go ahead and write this over here. So my first two terms is 6x squared. This is good. My inner product is 21x, my outer product is negative 2x, add those together and I get 19x. And then my last one, 7 times negative 1, is negative 7. So this is my factored form.